my student. I am by name Adamu Yahaya. I will be taking you JSP 121, use of library skill and ICT. And we are going to have the side of library science, we will be having three lecturers, and the side of ICT will also have three lecturers. On the side of library science, we will be having Master Wilson Otarada, Mr. Gabriel Ajab, and Adamu Yahaya. For me, I am by name Adamu Yahaya. I will be having two, four topics to treat with you one of which includes the definition of the library. The second one is historical development of library. The third one is historical development of library. The third one is type of library, while the fourth one is going to be, is going to be cataloging and classification. We are now starting with the concept of library, which is going to form the fourth week of our lectures. Concept of library here has to do with the definition of library. Library used to have so many definitions by different authority. But in order to make it easier and simpler for you to be able to have an understanding, we are going to use one definition. And this definition is being opined by the person that is making presentation based on the area, on the article of which he led his hand on. The definition of library now has to do with uh, the, 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 the library is being defined as a structure, or let me say a building, and uh, where books and non-books material are posted for reading, research, and recreation. In other words, we say library is being defined as a building or a space where books and non-books material are systematically organized for reading, research, and recreation. Here, we have to mention building and we also have to mention a space because at the present day, you cannot have a library where a building is only because there are e-resources that somebody outside the library can make use of. For that reason, when you are defining library, if you say a building, you also have to mention a space. In some of the advanced institutions or some of the advanced institutions that has to do with e-resources, even, even outside the campus or outside the library, you can still access some of the resources. For that reason, if you are defining the library, if you restrict yourself, on building, you are not making a just definition to library. We say where books and non-books material are kept. Of course, when we are talking of material in the library, it has to do with books and non-books material. When we come to books, it's any document that is bounded together, which is more than 49 pages. When we are talking of non-books material, it has to do with pamphlets and other e-resources that are found in the library. Pamphlet has to do with any resources in the library that is bounded together, which is not up to 49 Pages. In this case now, when we are talking of other e non-books material, it has to do with a computer, projector, slides, microfilms, microfilms, and other audiovisual resources in the library. When we, talk, when we say it for reading research, reading has to do with glancing through the resources available in the, in, the, in the library in order to gain the end result or to get a solution to your problem that you are trying to solve. A research has to do with a systematic digging into a particular phenomenon, which is going to solve the problem of a particular of a particular area. This is all about research. When we are talking of relaxation, relaxation has to do with a place where it is meant for a researcher to be able to have a peace of mind after his brain is being saturated. All of this library is always giving attention to it in order to make a, a, available resources easy accessible to the users. When we are talking of library, we have five or six major types of library, ranging from academic library, private library, public library, national library, special library, and school library. We'll be taking them one after the other. By the definition, we say library, by the definition, when we are talking of type of library, the first one we mentioned that is academic library. We said, it's a type of library that is established in the institution of higher learning, or a type of library that is found in the higher institution of learning, like polytechnic, universities, and colleges of education. Academic libraries are always designed to support the current institution in the area of teaching and learning, and also research. The users of academic library are the teaching and non-teaching staff, student researchers, 
and members of the community where the academic library are established. Example of this type of library, a college of education, a Kwanga library, the Federal Polytechnic Natural Library, and the University Library, which is Natural State University, JP Library. Then, the second one that you mentioned is private library. A private library is, an, is established and funded by a single individual or group of people. It could be also a member of the family if the resources are contributed by individual member of the family. The collection are not normally large and are biased towards a particular subject. Example of the private library we have within us here is Abdullah Hadamu Library. Jurists and uh, medical doctors which will, which will contain medical collections. We have like a uh, University Library, University Library. We also have Orisegun of Asanjo Library, which is found in Ota Farm. Then the next one is Public Library. A public library is a non profit library established for the use of the general public and maintained chiefly by public funds. It provides a service to every citizen, irrespective of one's birth, caste, one birth, color, gender, social, economic, and educational status without any cost. A public library are funded and found in different locations in the towns and cities. As the name implies, public libraries systematically select, acquire, process, organize, preserve, and make available library services to the general public. In nutshell, a public library is defined as a type of library founded, controlled, and financed by the state government. The next type of library is the National Library. National Library collects and preserves the national literature, thus serves as a permanent depository for all publications issued in the country. A National Library is an apex library specifically established and funded by the government of the country to serve as a preeminent repository of information for the country. The main objective of National Library is to identify, acquire, and organize, store, and retrieve all information resources published within country or in, the particular, in a particular country. In summary, National Library is seen as a type of library that is owned, controlled, and financed by the federal government and is always found in the nation equator, even though it could be found in the state and the local level, but all the staff working on that other one are referred to as federal government workers. The next one is the special library. A special library is attached to organization, agency, ministry, research institute, and the like. This type of library, these libraries are not usually open to the general public, though many are available to a specific element of public that may have information need similar to the user of parent organization agency ministry in which the library are served. For example of special library at the Federal Medical Center, KP Library, the National Hospital, Abuja Library. In conclusion, special library is defined as the type of library that is owned, controlled, or resources that all the resources acquired are processed for specific type of research. Then the next one is the school library. A school library is the type of library that is found in pre primary primary and the secondary school. The school library serves as a center and coordinating agency for all material used in the school. It also serves as a learner and oriented laboratory which supports, extends, and individualizes the school curriculum. Examples of the school library are the Government College, KP Library, Federal Government College, KP Library, the Unsuk Demonstration, School Unsuk Demonstration, library and the like. Then in the second week we are going to be discussing cataloging and classification. We look at the interpretation of catalog. We look at the type of library catalog we are having which has to do with the printed book catalog, shelf catalog, card catalog, shift catalog, computerized catalog and uh, upper catalog. Catalog is being defined as catalog is being defined as the arrangement of bibliographic record on of a library. 